Blockchain is by far one of the best industries for developers to get into in 2022. Whether you're starting from scratch or whether you're a developer already and want to transition into blockchain, it's one of the highest paying skills in tech. And I've always said, if I had to start my programming career from scratch today, if I lost all my skills, I would learn blockchain. That's what I would start with first before I learn anything else. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna talk about in this video today. How I would actually start over from scratch if I had no technical skills and learn blockchain step by step from start to finish so I could, you know, get a job, build my own project, whatever. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. A little bit of background about me if we haven't met before. I'm a self-taught programmer. I didn't go to school for computer science. I got rejected from coding bootcamp. I taught myself from scratch all the way up to a senior level. And I've helped thousands of other people learn blockchain from scratch. In fact, I just hired somebody to work for DAP University with less than one year of experience who went through this exact same method that I'm going to talk about in this video today. So if this is something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to take action on what you've heard in this video today and actually, you know, master blockchain step by step from start to finish exactly how I would do it, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about how I would learn blockchain from scratch if I had to start all over again. Just to expand about my background a little bit more, you know, I was already a developer already before I got into blockchain. I was a full stack web developer, okay? But if I had to start over again, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go become like a full stack developer and then get into blockchain. And that's point number one that I want to make is if you want to learn blockchain and start over from square one, just like I would do it, I would start with blockchain first before you go learn something else. This is one of the most common questions I get all the time is, you know, should you learn blockchain first or should you go learn a bunch of other programming languages? I understand this. I have had this common misconception too, but I'm gonna tell you from my own personal experience of going through this process and then also helping other people cut the learning curve and get into this industry faster, that you should fight the temptation to go learn a bunch of other coding languages before you focus on blockchain specific skills. For they think for some reason that blockchain is just too hard and that you need these other fundamentals to start. No, there's so many pro programming fundamentals that you can gain while you're studying blockchain itself. They think that you need to master some other thing to learn blockchain by that analogy. You don't have to do that. You can go straight for the throat and learn blockchain. That's actually what I recommend. So how do you do that? Okay. Well, before I tell you that, I want to tell you one more point is when you are learning blockchain, this will fit into the second point. Um, and you're doing that first, you're actually going to have context for what you're learning. You have a goal and a purpose in mind that this is going to help me learn blockchain. And then every concept that you're introduced to along the way is going to click way better. So like one of the most common things I ever heard going to school growing up was like, when am I ever going to use this? When you're like sitting in a classroom and you're learning a bunch of stuff in abstract and you don't see the reason why you're learning it. That's exactly what's going to happen if you go try to just learn a bunch of programming languages and then go try to learn blockchain specific skills is you don't see how they click the blockchain. But if you learn programming languages for blockchain, for the goal of learning blockchain, and then learn everything else as you go after that, you're going to learn way faster. It's more efficient. So how do you do this? Well, you focus on the primary skill first, which in my opinion, the best skill to focus on is to, to create smart contracts with the Solidity programming language. Why? because you're going to learn a programming language that's pretty beginner friendly, all right? You can go to multiple blockchain environments like Ethereum, any EVM compatible chain, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, you know, it doesn't really matter. There's so many out there. And if you just learn to do that, you're already going to have an insanely lucrative skill on how to create smart contracts and become a smart contract developer. Now, you could just stop there and say that's all you're going to do, but you you can then use that foundation to go build other skills on top of it, like front end development. And you learn front end development for the purpose of communicating to smart contracts. But when you learn to create smart contracts, you learned how blockchain worked. You learned a programming language for blockchain, and then the second programming language you learn is going to come so much faster that you would use to create a front end application. Same thing with a back end application. So if your goal long term goal is to become a full stack developer for blockchain. Don't go do that first and learn blockchain. Learn blockchain first and learn these other things after that. That's the exact method I've helped lots of other people, you know, use. And that's exactly what I would do if I had to start over from scratch. Okay, so that's the first tip. All right. And that's honestly the only thing that I would change about my programming career trajectory if I had to start over from square one today. Now, when I started programming, you know, Solidity wasn't even invented yet. So I couldn't have done this, right? So I can't theoretically change it. But if I started over from scratch, that's what I would really change about my trajectory. I, I would learn blockchain from scratch if I start all over again. And then I would start there as my main goal and then learn everything else. 
So the next thing I want to say is uh, to, that you really want to focus on learning by doing, all right? And I did this for my, uh, when I was teaching myself how to code before I got into blockchain, I did it, you know, as I transitioned into blockchain and every single technical skill that I've ever learned throughout my entire career, I've done this. I've helped other people do it. It just works. It's way better. It's, it's faster. It's efficient, which is to learn by doing. So what does that mean? Well, really looks like project-based learning. So when you're learning blockchain first, like that first step, what you want to do is actually be learning blockchain in the context of building uh, projects. So just like you shouldn't go learn a bunch of other programming languages before you learn blockchain, you shouldn't try to go learn, you know, programming languages in isolation without creating something like you should build a project. And then while you're building that project, you should be learning the programming languages while you're creating that project. So why is this important? Um, well, basically, it's going to give you context to what you're learning. It's like I was saying before, how many times do you ever hear the, the people say, when am I ever going to use this? Well, you never ask that question when you're building projects and you're getting introduced to concepts along the way. So, for example, um, and, but the key here is that you want the projects to be guided. You want someone sort of holding your hand through the process. And that's exactly what I do on my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. I like giving courses, but they're totally free. We do this method inside the blockchain bootcamp as well. Okay where you're guided through this process and you're introduced to those concepts along the way. So like you might know to, you might not even know anything about the programming language when you start, but you might say, okay, in this, in this lesson, we're going to learn to create, you know, uh, uh, a token, right? A cryptocurrency. And so what do you need to know to do that? Well, you might need to set something up on your computer in order to create that token. So you're going to learn about how to use a command line because you have to learn to use a command line to accomplish that purpose. And whenever you finish that, you know, you might not be a command line expert, but you've learned enough to accomplish that task, okay? And you can use that as fundamentals that you can learn other things. And that's going to give you so much more functional knowledge than if I just handed you a book on command line and said, learn this. You're not going to know what, what it's even used for, okay? So then when you go create a project, you need to learn how a framework works. You need to understand that to create a token that you need to create a smart contract out of Solidity. And then what aspects of the programming language do you use inside that when you're creating that you know you're going to learn the most important parts of the programming language because just like a human language there, there's all these different aspects of a programming language but only a small percentage of them get used over and over and over and over and over again and a small percentage of the programming language accounts for most of the day-to-day -day use cases which is what you really want to get what you really want to master as a beginner same thing with a written language you want to focus on the conversational parts of that language that come up the most and master that stuff before you just try to take a dictionary and like read through the entire thing, right? Whoever has done that, when have they learned a language? And so that's exactly what learning by doing through guided tutorials is going to do is basically introduce the most important concepts and you're just going to encounter those and you'll, you'll learn them in context, you'll learn by doing and all that knowledge is going to be way stickier and you're going to retain it so much better than if you just tried to like go uh, you know, learn this stuff for the book and then build a project. This is way better. And it's exactly what I would do. All right. So my third major tip on this is really a step-by-step -step plan to putting all this together to basically starting with blockchain, which is exactly what I've, what I would do if I had to start over, I'd start with blockchain, not some other programming language. All right. And then learning by doing like doing project-based learning. That's exactly what I would do. And so it, using both of those principles, how would you create a step-by-step -step plan that you could follow uh, to accomplish your goals, whether it's to get a high-paying job, uh, to become a freelancer, build your own project, whatever? Well, this is exactly what I would do. This is the plan that I would follow, okay, uh, more or less, right? Um, I might modify it so that it's very general for, for what I know works for everybody else. I might take a couple of shortcuts in here because I've done this so many times. But this is a good general plan that I think everybody can follow. And I outline this plan more in depth on the video that's pinned to my YouTube homepage, how to become a highly paid blockchain developer in 2022. So you can see that more in depth, but I'll provide a summary here. Basically start off with a uh, project, right? A, a tutorial that's kind of a lightweight tutorial that just gets your feet wet, introduces you to all the concepts, the programming languages, a really simple like website, how to write tests, how to write scripts. Um, how to you know do really basic stuff just on your computer, okay? And so you can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of those free courses there. They show you how to do this. They're they're designed you know more for beginner purposes to get you introduced to the concepts, all right, and kind of a sandbox environment and to build kind of like a toy tutorial level application. And then so the next thing that I would teach you or what I would do 
is to go build more of a professional level project in a guided way. So that's exactly like what we teach you how to do inside the blockchain bootcamp is move from like tutorials that are more or less like a tutorial projects towards like a real project. Like that'd be the same complexity level that you might be asked to build at a job. Now, truth be told, it's hard to really replicate exactly what you would be doing in a job situation because everybody's situation is different, but this would be pretty close. Okay. It'd be good practice. So that's going to teach you how it's going to hold your hand to show you how to create something like that from that high of a technical complexity. All right, go through that. And then here's what I would do. I would continue on with this track of learning by doing to develop the real functional skill of being a developer. Now, I'll tell you the, the honest truth, which is it's almost impossible to synthesize what it's like to work in the real world, but you have to try and you have to get close. So the best way to do that is to uh, gain experience on your own, uh, trying to solve problems with code where you don't have somebody holding your hand on how to do that. The easiest way to do this is to take like uh, a professional of a project that you've gone through, you know, this guided process, and then actually uh, talk about here's what you need to do in order to build the next step or think of something that you want to add to it. All right. Maybe you just want to add new features. Let's say you build like a cryptocurrency exchange, for example. And with that cryptocurrency exchange, you want it to you know, support a bunch of new cryptocurrencies or you want it to have a new user interface, whatever it is, you want to figure out how do I make this happen with code? And then you actually write the code to do it without somebody showing you what the answer is. That's how you develop a really functional skill. And when you go through that process, you are going to run into walls. You're not going to know how to do something, but you're going to be on that same path that all developers are on whenever they are professionals, which is the path of self-learning. And how do you get good at walking on that path? Well, you learn how to be resourceful. So you learn how to get on Google and look up the answer. You look and how you stack overflow. You know how to get in GitHub, you know, uh, uh, discussions. You know how to find people on Telegram, Discord groups, whatever it is to find answers to your problems. You have to learn to be resourceful. And if you learn that skill now, you're going to be way more valuable in the workplace and you're going to be doing what other developers already do. And now once you've done this step, uh, you're ready to basically, you know, take that finished product and then use it for a portfolio to start applying for jobs. Okay. That's going to help them show what you can actually do. All right. And then honestly, you're probably ready, you know, depending on what your employer says, they might, you know, hire you, but the best thing to do is apply for as many places as possible. Um, because you're going to increase the likelihood that you would actually get hired in that case. But here you're also at a spot where if you want to solidify the fundamentals of certain programming languages, now is a good time to do that. All right. So at the top of this video, um, and this is what I would personally do. Okay. At the top of this video, I talked about how you should learn blockchain first. You shouldn't go try to learn a bunch of other programming languages first. You should learn them in the context of blockchain. But once you've developed a solid base, a solid foundation, um, now actually would be a good time to start focusing on the long tail um, part of those programming languages that you ultimately need in order to develop a long-term value in the workplace to become more of an expert level developer in whatever your niche is. You just don't want to start with that because you're not going to be able to do it when you start from scratch uh, and the order matters. And so now would be a good time to focus on that. Let's say you wanted to do a course where you just learned every aspect of the programming language like Solidity or every aspect of JavaScript. You, you, all that stuff's going to click way more once you've built a bunch of stuff you know, for real. All right. So that's an overview on exactly how I would learn blockchain if I had to start over from square one. Again, if I just lost all my programming skills and had to start over today and wanted a step-by-step -step path and some principles to follow when I was learning blockchain, that's exactly what I would do. That's what I exactly recommend other people to do. That's what I've already helped other people do and hope you found a lot of value out of this video. So if you want to take action on this video, you know, what can you do? You can, of course, smash that like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. That really helps these videos out so the more people learn about blockchain. And um, if you want to start today, go to my YouTube homepage, find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step or, hey, you know, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master from step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You'll learn by doing, you'll create a professional level project, and you don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.